to me and honestly i don't care i don't care like if if you're playing in that game you're deeply invested in you're profiting off of people having to pay for a life-saving medicine you do de you deserve to lose every dime that you own i hope your spouse leaves you and i hope your kids hate you i'm gonna be 100 honest with you twitter all right twitter is <laughs> elon musk man oh my gosh hold on let's go ahead and change the color just for um mr elon musk here okay mr elon musk is uh he's a dummy okay I, i'm just gonna say it and once again i'm no one special i just graduate graduated out of high school but i can i can bet my last dollar that elon musk is is a is a, a world-class dummy okay but he he's he, he he did something low key smart. He didn't do it on purpose, okay? He exposed a major problem here in America. Exposed a major problem. And like I said, he didn't do it on purpose. It's the the witty people on Twitter. I promise you. I'm I'm pretty sure you guys seen some of the the crazy parody accounts people were making with celebrities and companies and but they exposed the greediness and the suffering of people when it came to insulin. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Seems to be utter chaos. Experts who hold on. Seems to be utter, utter chaos. chaos. Okay. Experts who study misinformation say the dramatic changes at Twitter have been troubling and dangerous. Well, anyone can pay eight dollars apparently and say that they're. A senator. On I Wednesday, wonder whose Twitter idea that letting was. People pay to be verified, and the Washington Post showed how easy it was by making this fake account, impersonating Senator Ed Markey, blue badge and all. An account impersonating pharmaceutical company Eli Lilly claimed insulin was free, sending its stock sliding four and a half percent. The more difficult we make it for people to understand the truth, we're going to have difficulty making accurate policy decisions. Oh wow! It can have implications for how our democratic system works. Michelle Amazine studies misinformation at BU and says the changes at Twitter during Elon Musk's short two week tenure are <laughs> alarming. Weeks. It's not really clear how <laughs> we're going to get a handle on this. Twitter has cut roughly half its workforce and in audio clips <laughs> obtained by ABC News, Musk downplays staffing concerns. I'm not trying to increase attrition. Um, but uh, I think we are not uh, understaffed. I think we are overstaffed. Musk oh, also wow. says he can't rule out filing for bankruptcy in the next year, leaving Twitter's future more uncertain than ever. Elon Musk needs to take a step back, come yeah. up with a plan. Take he seems two to be shooting back. by the seat of his pants. <laughs> <laughs> it is anyone's guess as to what happens next, Bro, but we I, do. I, I don't think he's shooting at the, the seat of anything. Elon Musk needs to take five, ten steps back. Like if he's if he was the whole Twitter buying thing has been going on, you know, for months. You would think he would have had some sort of better idea, a plan, a plan B, plan C. And you know, he's a genius, so he should have had like a plan Z on what he needs to do to make Twitter, you know, free speech, but yet not cross the line and have chaos happen online. And this is exactly what he did. He had no plan. Now, when it comes to this insulin comp uh, company, Eli Lilly or, or Lilly, whatever it is, someone made a fake account and claimed that insulin will now be free. It had over thousands upon thousands of likes and retweets and and all the other tweet stuff that you do and i can just imagine i can just for them to have to go out to the news organizations and make a press conference saying like hey that wasn't us 
You're crazy to think that we're going to make it free. Can you just imagine maybe someone who doesn't understand what's going on on Twitter and to realize that it was just a troll? Insulin is not free. <laughs> Somebody made a fake account and exposed a sadness here in America. The funny thing that you can do, the funniest thing that you can think of when impersonating a company like this is to say insulin is now free. It's funny, but sad at the same time. The biggest joke they can do with impersonating this company is saying a life saving medicine that can save your life can literally save lives that quote unquote people are pro-life and all this good stuff. A drug is free. And then a company has the nerve to be like, you know what? Hey, ho, ho, you done lost your mind if you thought this this life-saving medicine was going to be free for you. Guess what? Uh -uh. It, it might be close to the holidays, but it ain't that close. You still got to pay. If you want to live, if you want to survive, you still got to pay. And the stocks, uh, 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 the stock, the shareholders bounced. <laughs> they probably thought it was real. Like, I don't know what they were thinking, but to me, and honestly, I don't care. I don't care. Like, if, if you're playing in that game, you're deeply invested in, you're profiting off of people having to pay for a life-saving medicine, you, do, you deserve to lose every dime that you own. I hope your spouse leaves you and I hope your kids hate you. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. But it's sad that throughout all this chaos on Twitter, someone, which, like I said, it was funny. It was funny, you know, but it's, it's crazy to think that that joke is what people rely on you know what i'm saying it's it, it just makes me shake my head <laughs>